Hey everybody, hope you're having a great day today, or evening, depending on where you are in the world. Before we get started with today's video, I want to thank everybody. We're at 19,200 subscribers. We have slowed down a little bit, but because it is the Christmas season and holidays right now, that is expected. But I do want to extend my thanks and how grateful I am for everybody that has subscribed to my channel, and also remind you that you can join the channel now. You can become a member for just 99 cents a month. Starting January 1st, 2023, the MVP, VIP, and Pro versions are all going to disappear, and all those perks are going to transfer over to the 99 cent member. It's a great way to support the channel, and of course, a great way to support the content that you like. Let me close out of that, and I do want to say thank you to my newest members, Dinas, Lord NG, and Archer Key. Thank you guys so much for becoming members to the channel and believing in the content enough that you want to support it. You guys will never know what that means to me. Also, to all the other members that have started building a great community around the channel, you guys will never know what it truly means to me for the growth of this channel. And also, I want to drop a quick reminder. If you haven't watched the last couple videos I've done, I've got some great information out there. Windows Subsystem for Linux, I go over it in that video right there. I've got Zero Linux, which has got a great desktop look and feel uh, to Arch Spin. And then, of course, the distributions, I believe, utilize GNOME the best so far in 2022. And then Linux is hard to use my butt. Take a look at those if you haven't had a chance yet. There's some good information in there. And I believe a lot of you will learn some things you didn't already know. Now, I'm going to cover a distribution that I haven't taken a look at since January of this year. So it's been almost 11 months since I've touched base on it. And uh, let me just go over to their website, which is x 6 Linux. I'll be sure to include that link in the description below. But they have a brand new release out. And I'm excited about this one because it's got the Deepin desktop environment. As you all know, I love the Deepin desktop environment. KDE is still my favorite. But if there's an environment out there that I think would give Windows or Mac OS a run for their money as in the aesthetically looking part of the desktop, I believe Deepin's got that hands down. KDE's more for the customization, and of course, GNOME is getting more or less honed in on a workflow or a specific type of workflow. Now, XDix just released this the, yesterday, I do believe, and it's a brand new version. And if you go up top, you've got about XDix. XDix and X10, they're kind of simultaneously working together, I do believe. Uh, you've got a lot of different versions you can get of it. But when you come to their website, it's got recent posts. Of course, you can come over here and donate and support the project if you want to. And what I'm going to do real quick is if you click on download, it'll bring you down here and it'll say download XDix all versions from SourceForge. And don't worry, it downloaded pretty quick. I've got average home internet at my house, so you won't have to wait forever. But what you want to do is when you click on download, it comes over here and it kind of gives you a summary down here. It lets you know that there's versions 22.12, 22.9, 22.8, 22.5. And then of course they're based on Ubuntu, but you get the most recent kernel. So you're not going to be stuck in a kernel that's back. So you're going to get the most recent kernel with an Ubuntu base. And it comes in Deepin, Budgie, LXQT and KDE Plasma Desktop, and it will have Android in a box. So if you want to run Android apps right in the operating system, you can. And then, of course, some of the programs they have, passwords. Password for root is root. The password for the ordinary user is live. And then down here features five versions, and it kind of goes over a few of the things that we've already discussed. Without any further ado, let's just get on over to the desktop. Now, if you download XDix Linux, throw it on a USB or open it up in a virtual machine, this is the screen you're met with. As you can see right off the bat, it's very aesthetically pleasing right out of the box. It's got a real good polished look about it. And like I said, quite frankly, it's one of the most beautiful desktops that's out there. That's in my opinion. If you disagree with me, that's all right. But what we're going to do real quick is I'm going to come down to the bottom. You've got a bar down here. Now, some people like this stock experience. Some people don't. If you don't, it's real simple. You just right click on it, go to mode. If you want to go to efficient mode, you can move everything over here. It gives you a different layout and gives you a look that you're probably more comfortable with. But if you like the other one, you can just leave it in fashion mode and you're good to go. It's got a single panel on the bottom. You got your notifications, trash, date and time, power, keyboard, grand search right here. If you do a grand search, you click on that. That pops up. You could look for something like GIMP. 
And then it says search for GIMP. You could go over here and search for GIMP. And what it's going to do is it should open up the web. And then you could go search for it on the web. And it does right there. As you can see, it's got Google as its primary search engine. Now, if you want to change that, it's real simple. You can go up here in settings and change that. But you've got more of a global search right there. They call it a grand search, not a global search. But I do like that tool, and I like the aesthetic of it. I know a lot of you are going to say, why are you so worried about the look? I do like polished look on different desktop environments. I do like polished look in your operating system. So that's just my personal preference. Then we can come back across here. You've got screenshot right there. And of course, you've got your internet sound. Now, if you want these to hide, all you got to do is click that little arrow right there. They hide. They're out of the way. It's just a different way to keep things on and off your screen. Now, if we come back over here on the dock, you've got PC Man File Manager. Let's go ahead and open that up and move that to the center so you can see it. It's not as feature rich as, say, a Dolphin, but it is a nice file manager you've got your usual suspects over here you got your home folders right here i do like the aesthetic of it i like the way it looks i like the icons that they're using now let's go ahead and close out of that you've got firefox right here you've got synaptic package manager right here those of you who are familiar with my channel know that synaptic is more of a type search install program so let's say you were looking for something like uh, caden live you just go in and put caden live in do a search on that real quick. It brings Caden Live up here. You click on it, mark it for installation. It'll let you know what dependencies it needs. You mark those as well. Once those are all marked, you come up here and click apply and it installs it for you. Now, if you want to do more than one application, all you'd have to do is go back up here. You could do another search for something like uh, Shotcut. Let's go ahead and do a search for Shotcut. It's right there. Mark it, mark it for installation. It doesn't need any extra dependencies because it's going to use the same ones that Caden Live does. But now once you have both of those selected, you just come up here and click apply and it would install both of them at the same time for you. So I suggest if you haven't worked with Synaptic, if you do download this and take a look at it, definitely go over Synaptic. And then of course you have Refracta Snapshot and then you also have Refracta Installer. You could take a snapshot of your system right here and should you have any issues in the future with your OS and have to go back to a previous snapshot, you would use the Refracta Installer right here to take care of that. And then you've got Terminal right here. Let's go ahead and open that up and see if they have top. There's top right now. I have eight gigabytes issued to this virtual machine and at rest with just the terminal open, we're at 605. So this is lighter than KDE at rest. KDE usually runs somewhere between 650 and 750 in my use case, but that is nice. You get a great looking desktop environment and it's not heavy on resources. I think that's a plus. Deepin used to be a little bit heavier on resources. So definitely this is something, if you're wanting something a little lighter than GNOME or KDE, Deepin is the answer my personal opinion let's go ahead and close out of that then you've got your albums right here music calendar control center let's go ahead and open that up control center right here is where you're going to be making all your adjustments you've got accounts display deep in id default applications personalization they do have a light and dark mode or an auto mode let's go ahead and switch that over to dark and then of course your accent color is blue you could change that to red if you wanted to Let's leave that right there. You've got your icon themes that you can change right here. And then your cursor themes, your font, and then of course your dock. Let's go ahead and maximize this because you do have a little bit of adjustments you can make to your dock. Uh, you could put it to the top. That's fashion mode efficient. Let's go ahead and put it back on the bottom. Status, you can keep it shown. You can keep it hidden. You can smart hide it so when you open a window up it would disappear. And then of course you can adjust the size of it right here. So you've got a lot of different things right here you can adjust. Uh, over here, you've got accounts, display, your Deepin ID. If you want to set up a Deepin ID, that's only supported in mainland China at the present. So you don't really have to worry about that. Your default apps. Let's go to system info. Right now, it's XDIX Deepin version 20, community edition, 64-bit. It's running the 6.1.0-AMD64 Exton kernel, which means this is a distribution. It is not a spin. They've come up with their own kernel. Shows that I'm using AMD Ryzen 9 with Radeon graphics and then 8 gigabytes of RAM. And then, of course, your privacy policy. 
So let's go ahead and close out of that. And then down here, you've got the App Store. Let's go ahead and open that up. And it says Deepin 20.8 is officially released, which we know it is. It's what we're using right now. And then down here, you've got some different editor's choice. You've got OpenShot, GIMP, Inkscape, XPad, Audacity. Then you've got your must-haves. These are one-click installers. You could come down through here, click everything that you wanted. And once you have everything picked, come up here and click Install All, and you'll be good to go. And then all updates and manage. Let's go ahead and close out of that. Let's come over here to the app menu. You've got the icon browser, partition editor, install, screenshot, refract installer, all categories, internet, music, video. So you can break that down a little bit. It does have the mail. If you open it up, Deepin has a beautiful mail application. It's easy to set up. You can set up other mailboxes here, Gmail, Yahoo Mail. So let's close out of that. Let's go back over here. Let's go to all categories, graphics, simple scan, draw. Let's go back, video, movie, screen capture, movie. You just have the movie application and all of these go right along with the aesthetic of the operating system. So quite honestly, x Linux, I think gives you a nice solid Ubuntu base, but they give you the most up-to-date kernel. And it's their own kernel, so it is their own distribution. You also got App Store over here. You got your browser over here. Screen capture, text editor, control center we already looked at, calculator, font manager, couple games, deep and forum, and then, of course, your all categories. Now, what I want to do is right-click here. Let's go wallpaper and screensaver. And I love the way they give you the wallpaper choices down here where you can change it just by scrolling through different wallpapers and where's the one we presently have set i don't see it so if you wanted to change to something like that you can let's go to both and then you've got that set up i like that look so there's a lot of different wallpapers there's a lot of different ways to customize it it is a beautiful distribution it is a beautiful operating system and I suggest, if you haven't taken a look at it in a while, to definitely swing on over to the website, download it, throw it in a virtual machine, take it for a drive. And it's really responsive in a virtual machine. Is x Sticks Deepen something you might download and take for a test drive, or is it something you're already using? Please let me know in the comments below. Please do me a favor before you leave today. Please like, subscribe, or follow my channel. The more likes I get keeps me in YouTube's algorithm, which means the information you just saw in this video if it was helpful to you, it can be helpful to somebody else. And subscribe. Doesn't cost anything. And if you end up not liking me, you can always unsubscribe. If you like the channel and enjoy the videos that we are producing, we are on three separate platforms. YouTube, Utreon, and Odyssey. And you can become members on all three. On YouTube, it's only $0.99. Cents. On Utreon, it's $2.99. And on Odyssey, it's $4. You can also buy us a cup of coffee. Maybe go over to PayPal and throw us a donation or go to Patreon and become a patron to the channel. All those links will be in the description below. As always, thank you so much for watching my video and I will see you in the next video.